So, what time is it right now, guys? It is 7.28. 7 7.28 in the morning. I haven't woke up this early since I was in school, like, what? Like seven months ago? Yeah, pretty much. Not seven. Yeah, about seven months ago. I honestly, I haven't woke up this early since then. Oh, uh, freaking A, dude. It's so early, dude. Basically, we are headed out um, about an hour and a half from here to go look at some cars. And yeah, that's that's with the Ness. It's not just one car. We're going to be looking at two today. So as many of you guys know on the channel, um, or if you guys have kept up with me on Instagram, the Miata will no longer be on the channel because of an accident that happened uh, two months ago. But as the famous Captain America movie once said, Cut off one head. Two more shall take its place. As I mentioned before, obviously, I was in the accident, so I'm technically still in a boot right now. I can really see, but you guys should be able to see. There's enough light. But, yeah, so I'm still in a boot right now. So the fact that I'm going to go look at these, like, two cars is, like, kind of funny and kind of obnoxious at the same time because, um, well, technically I shouldn't be driving. But, um, if you guys know me, you guys know that I really, really like to go ahead and take risks. We got my trusty homie right here, which is uh, some Tylenol. So we're just going to go ahead and take some Tylenol because uh, I started walking earlier, what was it, last week? Mm -hmm. I started walking earlier last week and um, basically, like, you know, I'm able to put pressure on my leg and everything. It hurts a little bit. Uh, the painkillers definitely help for me to go ahead and walk um, a lot more. I wouldn't say long term, but they definitely help for me to go ahead and start walking quite a bit more. Um, yeah, I mean, I did some tests yesterday on my foot, and I don't think that driving should be an issue because obviously it was only my right foot that um, I needed surgery on and that like is in pain, so my left foot should be fine. Um, and the two cars that we're basically going to go take a look at are Honda Gang. <laughs> Gang! So we're going to be looking at a um, Honda Civic with quite a few miles and an Integra which uh, should be, according to the owner, packing some goodies. We're going to go ahead and take a look at both of those cars. They caught my attention because originally both of those cars were actually what I was looking for as my new daily. Plans have changed. Things have changed. Came to realize recently that I actually won't be going back to school because of California regulations. And so I basically am not going back to school until January. So the car isn't really needed. I can always find a different way and a different method of getting back to work once I'm fully back on my feet. I'm not keeping both of them for sure. Like one of them is going to be like a restoration project that I'll go ahead and be posting like on the channel just to kind of show you guys you know like how to take care of a car on maintenance and then I'll probably just be uh, selling either one or both of the cars later on so I mean I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping the Integra or the Civic so like I said you know we're just gonna go ahead and check them out today we're gonna go ahead and bring you guys with us so you guys can go ahead and kind of just I don't know enjoy a vlog or something like that just because it's been a while since I've made a video because of all the circumstances that have happened so that being said we are gonna pop some pills today and um, <laughs> let's get on with this adventure so as of right now we got about an hour trip in front of us and uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that bad of a day but, as you can see in the distance, it is a little smoky because of all the California fires, so that does kind of suck, and uh, well, my, my prayers and my thoughts with everybody affected by them, so. Okay, so just a little bit of an update. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced or you know had experience buying cars on Craigslist, but there's always going to be those people, and it's always there's always going to be that chance basically of you running into a Craigslist seller who just turns out to be a complete douchebag and annoying. Um, we're basically like 25 minutes out from where this dude told me to go ahead and meet him at. And keep in mind, I had texted him about an hour ago. He basically messaged me back saying right now that he had made a deal with somebody else last night for the asking price of the of the Civic and I mean the Civic was the one that I was like a little bit more excited about getting because that was the one I was leaning towards more keeping and I mean I was going to give him his asking price and like I kind of talked to the dude and I was like dude like you know basically drove all this way out here for you to tell me that like why didn't you tell me that last night when you made the deal with somebody else basically he ended up just being 
um, a douchebag. So unfortunately, not gonna be getting the Civic anymore. Um, that looks like it's not gonna be in the picture, but we're just gonna post up and within the next like hour or so, uh, we'll be going to hopefully go ahead and check out the Integra and, and bring it home. Yeah, huge bummer. If you guys are, you know, thinking about buying on Craigslist, you know, just make sure you guys keep in contact with the seller. You know, there are gonna be times where you're gonna run into those sellers who just are just sucky people, so. That's a bummer. Freaking know the vibes. All right, so we're here um, at the spot where I'm supposed to meet the dude. So fingers crossed, everything turns out well. Already texted him. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the car. I'm probably not gonna go ahead and film the process of everything, just you know, out of respect and privacy to him. So uh, yeah, we'll see you after and let you guys know uh, what's going on with an update. So we got the Integra. <laughs> um, she's a little beat up, for sure. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it or if the camera is picking it up on the mic, but there's a little bit of a whooshing sound, which honestly, it could be the brakes, it could be the axles, or even a wheel bearing, but I'm really not that like worried about it because Integras are very easy and very cheap to kind of fix, and like I said, like it should be a relatively easy project. Right now, my only goal is to just kind of restore it to where it would be like a perfect daily driver because I'm gonna need a daily sometime pretty soon. Um, and if plans change, then, you know, maybe I'll sell it or I'll build it. I mean, I'm not really too sure just yet on what I want to do. If you've made it this far into the video, then I'll go ahead and give you this little disclaimer. The turbo kit or the rest of the turbo kit for the Supra is actually arriving on Saturday. So uh, if you're watching this video, you're one of the first ones to know. I'm honestly really excited. I mean, the specs on the uh, car, it is a GSR. So it has the V18 C1. Got it for a really good deal. So like I said, you know, I'm just like really looking forward to being able to kind of just restore this car for the meantime get it ready basically to become a daily driver and then you know if plans do change i mean I i'm not even gonna lie to you guys like i bought this car with the intention of of uh, fixing it and reselling it so um the chances of me keeping it honestly are are kind of slim but the more i'm driving this thing home the more i'm honestly liking it and uh funny enough like i had quite a few of my friends who are into hondas they were like all excited that i was going to come and pick this up today because they were like bro you're gonna be part of the honda gang now boo but i'm like i'm kind of scared of the jokes people are gonna make you know i mean owning a miata was pretty hard because everybody always called me a hairdresser but now i have to deal with being called gay the bright side though it is a gsr so it's like on the better side of the honda gang um but, I mean, I'll give you guys a run around of the car once we get home, so. Slow? Damn, dude, look, I look, I already got people making making jokes about me. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Drives an Integra for like less than a freaking hour and I already got people outside with signs calling me slow. Look at that. They did that with the Miata too. I know, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Long live nightmare, this one. <sighs> R.I.P. Nightmare, guys. Drop an R.I.P. Nightmare down in the comments if you miss her. Because I definitely do. So, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the one and only Mickey. And it's the real show here. So, like, forget about this, guys. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! It's so freaking fast, my guy! This is what a real engine feels like. Damn! Yeah. Nah, dude, honestly, honestly though, like, the brakes definitely need to get changed on this thing. They're not, they're not terrible, like, you know, they stop, but it's like, they're not, like, if you know what I mean. Just really quickly, in the video, I mean, I've already said it to him, but huge shout out to Moy, who's behind us. Um, he, he's the one, he's the one who, who gave us a ride, so. Oh my god, these mirrors are freaking busted. I know, bro, we need to clean this thing. Welcome to the VTEC, bros. Second gear pull. Oh, VTEC, 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 VTEC! Ah! Hey, dude. Ready? Ready? One time for the one time. Alright, 
So it's been um, a few hours with the car. I just filled up for the first time uh, right now, and it was uh, I filled up with 38 bucks on 91. So in California, it's pretty expensive. It's like three dollars and eighty cents right now per gallon. So I mean, it's not that bad. It is a Honda, so you know, gas should be cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, first honest initial impression, like. I'm pretty happy and I'm pretty excited. Yeah, we're just gonna basically go ahead and try to take care of everything today. So, smog, brake and light inspection, and just kind of get everything all dialed in, so. So, uh, yes, it is hot in California, but that is not the reason that I'm sweating. First impression overall on the Integra is it's super dope. Um, I feel like it's, it's a really cool platform. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of different things with Integras. For the first day, we passed smog and we passed the brake and light inspection. So those are all taken care of, we're all good to go. Tomorrow I was planning on taking this car to DMV to go get it registered. I drove it here with no issue whatsoever. All of a sudden, the battery light came on and uh, it was basically history from there. I mean, a bunch of different things uh, started to happen. I mean, my dash lights started going crazy. Um, and then from there, I mean, my freaking, what's it called? My speedometer started acting funky, and uh, yeah, I mean, it just, basically, it died on me. So the Integra is basically dead right now because it needs a new alternator. Uh, as soon as I saw that the light came on, I actually like drove over to O'Reilly and to AutoZone just to kind of go ahead and get like the battery inspected because the battery is two years old. So battery's fine, the starter's fine, but he said that the alternator was gonna go out. I did not expect it to go out this soon because um, I mean, I started driving a little bit further, you know, just to go ahead and get the uh, smog and everything else done. And uh, well, like I said, it was basically history from there. So kind of sucks, was not able to get the car home. I'm gonna try to go ahead and just come and pick it up later and then uh, maybe even start the alternator replacement as early as today, even though I probably shouldn't be working on cars. But you know what, it is what it is and you only live once, so you know what, make sure you go ahead and take risks and do everything to the fullest. But yeah, I also realized that I haven't really shown you guys around the Integra, so let me go ahead and do that for you. This is the Integra. The major thing is the bumper. Previous owner said that his neighbor actually backed up into him with a truck, so I mean, Kind of sucks that you know the car is now going to be a salvage title because I had to go and get all that paperwork. But you know, other than that, it's honestly pretty good, pretty clean. Um, the wheels are disgusting. Uh, don't know why somebody would even pick these. They honestly look like fidget spinners, but you know, spinner. Other than that, I mean, it's got the little wing. I mean, she's pretty clean. Honestly, she's pretty clean overall. So I'm pretty, pretty, pretty excited about that. Um, and then the interior. I mean, interior's clean. So he, he threw this in for free. So I was like, all right, cool, you know, whatever. Interior's pretty clean. Seats are pretty clean. The only really main tear is this one. I mean, other than that, everything is honestly uh, pretty good. And then obviously, you know, we gotta, we gotta get the five-speed manual. So let's go ahead and show you guys the engine compartment too. It's nothing special, guys. I mean, it's not a built 2JZ or anything, if you know what I mean. But it's something, it's something. Nice little Honda dual overhead cam VTEC B18C1. I mean, it is what it is. Yo, what's up? Where? No. I'm next to like a church, bro. I'll send you my location again. But so that was the homie Moy once again coming to the rescue because my car died. So with that being said, guys, I think uh, this is gonna be the this is gonna be it for today's video. Nothing really else to go ahead and show you guys. I mean, once I go ahead and do the alternator install, you know, maybe I'll go ahead and film a video then. Um, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and call it. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is gonna be the new. I'm not gonna say project because, like I said, it's still not in my mindset to go ahead and keep it. But it's definitely going to be a car that we're going to be working on and um, basically trying to restore as best as we can and at least make it look nice in case 
I end up selling it to somebody else and somebody else can enjoy it. Remember to stay up, stay tuned, peace out. If you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys go ahead and turn on the bell for all notifications when I go ahead and release another video. Um, follow me on Instagram. Make sure you drop a like, a dislike, drop a comment about something that you like, uh, something that you don't, something that you want to see done on the Integra. Go ahead and drop a comment. And that's it for today's video. Remember to stay up, stay tuned. Peace out, guys. Until next time.